This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is an Oxford Barrier Bicycle Chain Lock. This is a self-contained security solution with both a chain and a lock for securing it. The chain is one and a half meters long, consists of 10 millimeter links, and is covered in a nylon anti-scratch sleeve. I've not tested this particular one, but I have tested other Oxford 10 millimeter chains, and they've proven above average. The lock is difficult to evaluate because of the plastic cover. However, I do know that it has a non-shimmable ball bearing locking mechanism, as well as a disc detainer core. So let's see what it takes to pick this open. The first thing we need to do is rotate all of those discs as far clockwise as they will go. Then I'm going to get the pick that Bosnia and Bill and I made, pick up disc number one, then find number two and get to picking. Okay, I think I'm on disc number one. Let's go to two. Okay, little something out of two. Nothing on three. Nice click out of four. Five is loose. Six is loose. And seven is loose. Back to the beginning. Nothing on two. Three is binding. Nice click out of three, nothing on four, little click on five, six feels like it's in a gate, probably a zero cut, and a click out of seven. Yep, seven feels like it's in a gate. Okay, back to the beginning, click out of two, three feels like it's in a gate, so does four, five, you know what, let's try and tension off of disc number six. That felt like a zero cut. And that's exactly what the problem was. Okay, we got this open. Not too hard a pick. I do like that it tensions off of a middle disc, but would also like to see some false gates in there. That said, I suspect it's probably enough pick resistance for the streets. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe, and as always, have a nice day. Thank you.